When building web applications, we often need to access user and session data to personalize experiences and track user actions with their account. To read user and session data, Flirt provides two helpers, auth and current user. Let's understand how to use them with an example. For this example, we will create a new route called dashboard. Within the app directory, create a dashboard folder and add a page.tsx file. Export a default function, dashboard page, that returns a heading. Within the page, import and invoke the auth and current user helpers and inspect the returned objects in a console. So first, import the auth and current user methods from clerk slash nextjs slash server. Then invoke them in the dashboard page component. So auth and current user and await the returned objects. The auth helper will return the auth object of the currently active user. So const auth object is equal to await auth. The current user helper will return the backend user object of the currently active user. So const user object is equal to await current user. Log both the objects to the console. Object comma user object. In the browser, once we are signed in, if we navigate to slash dashboard, we should see the auth and user objects locked in the console. If you inspect the auth object, you will see user ID, session ID, session claims, redirect to sign in, and so on. The user object contains email addresses, first name, the user ID, image URL, last name, etc. In server components and route handlers, you will typically use the user ID from the auth object and query the database with it. Now, these two helpers, auth and current user, are useful in server components and route handlers, but don't work in client components. In a client component, you can read the same data using use auth and use user hooks. Let me show you how. In the components folder, create a new file called counter.tsx. Define and export a simple counter component. Export const counter. We invoke use state with a value of zero. We render the count value. And on click, we call set count, incrementing the count value by one. A very straightforward counter component. Add use client directive at the top to make it a client component. A very straightforward client counter component. Let's import and invoke this component in the root page.tsx file below the image component. So counter, make sure to import it from at slash components slash counter. Then back in the counter component, import the use auth and use user hooks from clerk. From at clerk slash nextjs. In the component, invoke use auth and destructure the returned object. To access the properties, is loaded, user ID, session ID, and get token. Also invoke use user and destructure the returned object. To access the properties, is loaded, is signed in, and user. They do have conflicting properties, so let's use them one at a time. From use auth, you can use the is loaded and user ID properties to return null in case the user signs out while the component is mounted. So if not is loaded or not user ID, return null. Save the file, head back to the browser and click sign out. And you can see the component is removed from the UI. Similarly, from use user, you can use the is loaded and is signed in properties to return null in case the user signs out while the component is mounted. Either of these conditions work. In the browser, sign in again, and we can see the counter component, sign out, and our app continues to function as expected. The component has been removed. You can rely on use auth if you just need the user ID to personalize experiences or associate data with the user. Use use user only if you need the full user object. Speaking of users, up next, we will learn how to work with roles and permissions. Supporting the channel is free. 
please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.